If it wasn't obvious from the title of this video, I'll be talking about colored contacts. So, I don't know if it's really a how-to or just a, kind of about colored contacts, but what I did, um, I've, I've got some experience with colored contacts. I've worn um, several pairs. I've ordered from a couple different sites before or bought from a vendor, a different vendor before. So I've got a little bit of experience, and I also wear normal prescription contacts, so I've got experience with that as well, if that helps. Um, so a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago probably, I ordered some color contacts, mostly because my friends told me there was a sale going on on this one website, um, it's called Lens Village is the website, um, and it was like a two for a $30 deal for certain uh, brands of contacts that they have, that they carry. And I thought, I'll check it out at some point, and then I am I was deciding I probably should get some for Halloween for my costume, which I won't tell you about yet, but I'll let you guys know later, because I don't want to just write out and say it, I'll let it be a surprise. So I ended up getting two pairs. I was kind of a little disappointed at first because um, I don't think they expected the sale to go as well as it did because they were out of stock of a few things. But I got a different pair of contacts that I was happy with. They weren't part of the deal but they still counted as the replacement ones for the ones that were out. So I got... Um, one of them I got was for my Halloween costume. One of them I got was for my nurse cosplay because the contacts I had uh, had run out, basically. I had them for more than a year. So you just want to also be careful about the amount of time you have them. Um, most contacts are going to be about a year, usually. Um, and even if you don't wear them a lot, you want to be definitely safe and sanitary with them. So if you've had them for you know a year, year and a half, it might be time to replace them. Um, so I don't think you can really see them that well, but that's one of them. You can't really see it. It's white with a black circle around it. And that's inside out. That is the other, which I'll show you whenever I do it. So they usually come in a little bottle like this. Um, it'll have like a label. It'll have like maybe expiration date, um, size of the contacts, things like that, the brand. Um, they also sent little lens cases. And if you're the person you buy it from, the company, whatever, didn't send any, if they don't do that kind of thing as a free gift, then you can buy contact lens cases. Any store, I get mine at Walmart, you know, Meyer Kroger, whatever, whatever, how you be. Um, let me open these up. I have more experience with um, Pinky Paradise, that's a pretty good site for contact lenses, and they may range, the prices may range between like $20, $30, depending on the type of lenses, uh, just normal ones would be about like between $20 and $30, the Sclera ones are going to be around $100, and I think Lens Village has, a, they have a lot of the same kinds of contacts, probably have this a lot of the same um, providers, whatever, so I got little fish lens, or um, yeah, I think these ones are puffer fishes and I believe little bears so I think they look like it and you can also get the choice sometimes of getting um, if you have certain prescription mines uh, minus two and a half um, some don't have it uh, this one actually did have it in stock so it's got the prescription right on top there and the type of lens some websites you want to be careful Pinky Paradise and this website does not charge extra for prescription. Some websites do, and that can get very expensive. And you just want to be very careful with some webs websites because they're not very trustworthy. If you just Google, um, like, color contact lenses, things like that, and try to look at random websites, um, I do not like doing that. I do not trust to certain websites because their contacts are very shoddy. Uh, they last only, like, three months, and they're still, like, $25 for a pair. So, 
some of them I just don't like going to. I try the best I can to go to like Pinky Paradise or sites similar to that because that's what I've had experience with. That's what I trust. Um, they do come from Asia or around that area. So just expect slightly longer shipping times. I was actually very happy that these shipped fairly quickly. Like despite their slight problems, they, they came... I ordered them, I think they shipped like the 18th and they came yesterday on the 29th. So that was fairly decent because I said it was 10 to 30 days for processing and shipping. Um, and because they are from Asia, they take a little longer to process and ship and everything, go through customs, you know, overseas. I was just a little um, disappointed that they gave me the shipping information, but it did not update, I believe. It was um, the tracking number and where I was supposed to look for the shipping was a little confusing. Okay. So enough with that, I'm going to go ahead and start. So before you start, you definitely want to make sure to wash your hands or put hand sanitizer on because you are putting these, uh, you're touching the contacts and putting these in your eyes and you do not want any sort of infection in your eyes. So we can go ahead and open up the cases. And with these ones, you can see it's got um, kind of parts on the inside supposed to help, but it's also got can't really see very well. It's got an R here for the right eye. In case you do have different prescriptions, that makes it a lot easier. And uh, my prescription is the same in both eyes, so I'm. It doesn't matter which one goes to which. And you can open up the little bottles, and it has little um, arrows on it. Yeah can't see because of the light. It has little arrow kind of on it where to pull up because that's where the little it's um where the metal part pops off because it's surrounded by metal around the edges which is not always the easiest to come off so warning be very careful when opening these do not cut your fingers open and then it has a little lidded thingy here that you can just pop right off And then just do the same thing with all of them. And I like to keep the bottles just because they're really cool little bottles that you can probably use for craft things. I haven't done anything with them yet, but mostly because I'm lazy. But I can probably make them into like little potion bottles or things like that, you know, for um, props and things. Okay, so all of them are opened. Um, and there is... The contacts are in there in solution, but this is old solution, so you do not want to, like, take the contacts out and put them in right away. You want to make sure to dump this out and rinse the contacts off very well. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Since I'm not by a sink, I'm just going to use my garbage can and hopefully they don't fall out. Now this is the um, lens solution that I use because that's the solution that I got when I first got a good pair of contacts. I got it at a vendor at a convention. Um, expensive contacts by the way. I don't recommend always spending $50 on a pair of contacts but um, this is just the kind I really like. I um, also got it at Walmart too when I needed some more so you can probably get this at several stores. Um, I'm not sure about normal contact lens either. Um, I'm sure it works just fine but I just like this kind because I have been using this and I don't want to mess up my colored lenses because they're special and expensive. So let me dump these out. And also I know some of these are pretty common sense but I just want to mention as like disclaimers you want to be very careful in handling these because contacts are sensitive. They can tear easily especially when you're using nails. I have sharp nails so sometimes it's hard for me to work around that but just be very careful and these obviously aren't like wear once and dispose of them, they're 20 something dollars a pair, you want to take care of them for the year so that you have them. So just kind of um, pour some solution into it. Um, I'm using my hands, just that's what I do. You just want to make sure your hands are clean, kind of soak it in the solution on your hand, and then you can also, I'm going to, can't see it, but I'm going to put some solution in my lens cases. Fill them up to however you need them to as long as they are immersed. Let's do these ones in the 
spare lens cases. So you can just stick it in there. So I put one of my lenses in here and I'm just going to fill it a little bit more. Now sometimes the uh, lens gets stuck in the bottom of the vial thingy, whatever it's called, the bottle. So you can always just kind of squirt some more solution into it and try to get it out that way, which worked very well. You want to be careful and try not to use your finger to pull it out because that could also tear it. So if you want to take a look at it, that's what it looks like. That's what I like to use for my, for my nurse cosplay. Oh, shoot. Do not drop your lenses. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Now, usually your contact lenses should come with instructions on how to put them in, um, how long to soak them, um, and then also, like, how long to wear them to get used to them. Let me close that guy up. That one's done for now. And next one. I already have my solution in there. And these are going to be for the yellow ones, which I'll show you in a moment. Now, these are the ones that are prescription. And never, ever wear two contact lenses in your eye at once. Like, do not wear your prescription contact lenses and a colored lenses over that. It is very dangerous and will harm your eye. Put that one in here. You do not want to damage your eye. And you want to make sure, especially with these, these are not made for, like, daily wear, like normal lenses, like normal um, contact lenses. So you just want to make sure you're not wearing them for like 12 hours a day, maximum maybe 8 hours depending on the lenses. Some are a little more comfortable than others, but that doesn't mean they're not damaging your eye. And I know there's going to be people who say, oh I wear colored lenses every day and my eyes are fine, but you still want to be careful everyone's going to be different. Now this one was in the bottle inside out, so that just means that the color, like the actual part that you're wearing is like on the inside it's flipped inside out so the way you can tell if you can see it it's kind of got more of a, a lip on the edge it's kind of um, like outwards it's going that way when in reality you should not have that that would be hurt very much just make sure when you are about to put your lenses in that it does not have that lip on the edge curving outwards that it's all even and you when you squeeze it it folds nicely when it's the other way you can see that lip more it's more pronounced let me see if i can try not to my lenses are starting to dry out a little bit so i'm trying to do this quickly can't see it as much but it doesn't fold very well doing that Here, let me put this in the solution more. I'm trying to soak it in there. Now you want to make sure that these soak in your new solution, the fresh solution, for a few hours. Your instructions should say how long. So mine came with kind of little instructions for this. And then you can kind of see what I told you there, that it's got this nice U shape and not the U shape with those little lips on the edge right there. So you can kind of see the difference there. I soak it, I think I've seen somewhere say about six hours maybe. Um, you definitely want to make sure it's long enough in there. So if you're not sure, um, you can soak it like overnight would be safe, um, something like that. So just let it soak for a while before you do anything with them and make sure the lids are on them tightly and that you're not storing them upside down or anything like that. So um, I'm going to wait for these to soak and then I will be back to you guys whenever the next time I get to them will be. So I will see you in a little bit. This is not part two. It's the, the, um, the second part for me of the video with contacts thingy thing thing. Because it's going to be just part of the previous video I did. Which was like two days ago. And it would be like one second for you. Okay. First of all, have clean hands. Which I need to use hand sanitizer. So... Pick and choose, pick and choose. Let's use this one. So always have clean hands when when using contacts because you don't want to get 
I would recommend actually That's washing it. your hands. Yeah. Because it keeps, <laughs> it keeps the alcohol from getting on your contacts, making your eyes burn. That's why I'm going to wait a second and just like air it out because I have to take out my actual contacts first. I don't have that problem. Yep. You got LASIK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, once again, I mentioned before, never ever wear two, like, two contacts on top of each other, like one on top of each other. Bad idea. You will die. <laughs> You'll get pregnant and you will die. Okay. So this is it me, girls. So, I know when I first started wearing, like, prescription contacts, I needed to use a mirror to, like, ow, oh, okay, ow, oh, ow, oh, hand sanitizer. Um, it's mostly the hand sanitizer that's burning my eye. <laughs> um, to put them in and take them out, so if you need to use a mirror, feel free to, it ah, probably will help. Oh, and another good thing to know, usually contacts tell you to put makeup on afterwards, so that you don't have makeup on your fingers when doing it. But be careful because I do this like every time I put on makeup, I get it on my contacts. So just don't get it on your contacts. Honestly, I've done it both ways and it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah. It's just easier. At least do it before you put on like mascara and eyeliner. Because like you have to part. pretty much like pull your lids mm -hmm. up and it, you don't want to get stuff on your fingers. It's just messes up your makeup makes it it's a hassle i know sometimes it's hard to see after you put contacts in but just do your best and that's why having friends is always helpful let's see so i'm just gonna put one pair in and just kind of wear it for a second and then put the other one in i just want to like put both in to see how it looks at first i can't see anything <laughs> here's the thing okay i have prescription contacts like i said so i can't really see very well right now okay so i've got my lens solution i showed you before the revita lens which i like to use for my contact like the colored contacts i have a different one like a general brand one for my actual contacts because i don't care okay okay no more hand sanitizer i probably should just wash my hands um so okay first thing you want to do you can just kind of you can't really see, but it's just kind of just take it out. Try not to use your nails because you do not want to tear it. When you do take it out, just check it. And make sure that they are not damaged in any way, torn, you know, missing giant chunks out of it. Probably not a good idea. And make sure it doesn't have anything on it like hairs or that will hurt stuff because it hurts when you put them in. It really, really does. And another good thing I had mentioned before, but I don't know if you can see very well how the contact is it's in a very u shape if it's inside out then you'll see a like a lip on the edge and you can't fold it like a taco as well as what i was told like folding it like a taco so color contacts is a lot easier because if, if it looks right it probably is right yeah like the color contacts you can see the color is on the outside basically like it's so much easier to see so just to keep it very um moisturized uh, just kind of drip some onto the contact and roll it around in it. Don't roll it, but drip it in it. And then people do it differently. Since I've been wearing contacts for a little while, I just do it straight onto my eye. But some people do it like below their iris and kind of like blink it into space because it will, it will blink itself into. Oh, oh my gosh, hold on. Ah, ah, it feels weird. Ooh. Got it. Okay, sometimes it takes a few tries to get it in. Uh, yeah, sometimes you just, like, blink it into place because it will go into place since it is supposed to fit onto the bump of your cornea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anatomy. And it does feel kind of weird because they are a lot different than normal contacts. Is it in? Yeah. Okay. Saying, take your time putting them in. If it needs a couple tries, just do it. You can touch up your makeup later. But if you rush it, you end up jabbing yourself in the eye, and that's not good either. No, and you definitely do it slow because like it can fall out if you try to do it too quickly. Like when I first started wearing contacts, it took me like half an hour to get one in. So don't be surprised if it's gonna take you a while to get it in, and it will feel kind of weird when you put it in because regular contacts are just kind of floppy little pieces of whatever they are. These are, I think, a little bit, like, thicker and a little bit different to work with, like. They're stiffer. They're not quite as yeah. flexible. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they're not, like, hard contacts, because there are, like, hard glass contacts, yeah, and do but. do not, do not wear those. Do not <laughs> wear those. I promise you, they will hurt your eyes. My friends have learned the hard way. I didn't know about that. They used to, like, actual they, contacts a lot of used them to be. used to be like that, and they used to make a lot of, like, the dark, especially the darker colored ones like that. Now, nowadays, they're all kind of the same. They're all kind of a lightweight 
stuff. But yeah, if you have hard contacts, do not wear them for a certain period of time. They will really seriously damage your eyes. Those were like the contacts in the 70s. And that was, they were non-porous, so people could actually put them in water. Well, I mean, probably couldn't, but people would like put it in water, like put it in their mouth and get to get hair off and stuff. Don't do it. With these ones, it's more susceptible to bacterial infections, so never um, put water on contacts. That and will this is also a message with the pH and the salinity of your eye. So if you use just water, it will burn when you put it back in. I've done that before. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, it just it it's makes it more a better environment for bacteria to grow. So you do not want bacteria in your eyeball. Not a good place for it. So I forget completely which contacts you wear. I can put the links of which contacts these are in the description. I forget the complete names of them. But here are the first ones. These are the ones I use for my nurse and just random things sometimes. They're actually fairly comfortable. Like this one feels a little bit weird towards the top, but I've been wearing contacts all day. So just kind of blanket yeah, into place. That was a weird, I really think it's just because there's just been my eyelid. Probably. It could be that too. Like sometimes people have weird messed up like eyelids. You can have bumps under underneath them and stuff that make it harder to wear them. So if you know you have any sort of like medical problems with your eyes, don't wear colored contacts. It's not a good idea. Also, if you have scratches in your eyes, it's best not to do it because they can actually yeah. rub, it, rub it worse and like it'll really, really hurt your eyes. It'll, like explode your eyeballs. Also, they say if you have LASIK not to wear contacts very often, at least for a long time because your eyes get used to it. They told me not to wear them. Yeah, since much, she's gotten LASIK, it's probably not a good idea for wearing contacts Especially right away, I, put mine, I had mine over three years ago, so I'm pretty cool with that. So these are not prescription, so I can't, when I'm my nurse, like, I can't see very well out of the side, because it's only, uh, yeah, she's my, uh, well, not gopher, handler. just, yeah, handler, because I've got this completely covered, and then just this with no prescription, so it's weird. When you're taking them out, try not to use your nails. I have a bad habit doing that because my actual contacts are once one a day ones, so I don't give a help shit. Yeah, don't <laughs> give a shit what they happen to them. So just um, they say you can just kind of pinch them with the pads of your fingers, and it might take a while because it does for me when using colored contacts. Huh, feels weird. And I like to slide them down a little bit too. So there's one of them, and you want to make sure I don't do it all the time because I'm a bad kid, but change yeah. out your solution very often. Yeah, basically every time you use it, you want to dump it out, rinse it out, clean that, clean the contacts themselves, yeah. just to make sure that there's nothing on them, so that way when you go to wear them next time, there's less to do. I'm just doing it to, like, show you guys how they look, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Ow, I just scratched my eyeball. Don't scratch your eyeball with your nails. Long or fingernails cards. suck. With cards? Yeah, my little sister threw a card to my dad and sliced his eye. Ow! Mm -hmm. I was playing close with him. I felt bad. I wasn't at home at the time, though, so... So it's definitely good just to take it slowly when taking out and putting in. Oh, another way sometimes people put it in is kind of like... Ah, damn it. It stayed in my eye. Um, they just put, like, put it on kind of towards the side of their eye and close their eye and like rub it in, which... However you're comfortable with, I just do it straight on. <laughs> Because I'm used to it that way, but it feels weird. Yeah, no, I do. I usually pull up on my eyelid and kind of stick it on at the top because that's... When I wear contacts, especially like these, that's where they tend, kind of tend to flop. So it's just easier for me to kind of pull this back, get at least the top on, and then lower it down, and then it usually moves into place. But I was surprised. I got mine in on the first try today. I haven't worn contacts in probably a year and a half since the last time oh, I really? had a pair. Well, the last ones I had were Alita, and I didn't wear them often, so... Yeah, those were the mesh ones, which I had Well, I had a pair of green ones, too. Oh, I just, yeah, yeah. I couldn't wear them because my eyes were just too bad that time. I'd offer you help, but I kind of can't. I know, no, no. Do not wear other people's contacts. Don't do, do not it. let other people help yeah, you put them do in. Do not, do not let anybody else wear your contacts. It is very, very bad. Bad juju. I've actually had people ask me, oh, can I try your contacts on? It's just like, No. You don't do that. It's just like, do you want to borrow my toothbrush? You wouldn't ask someone random to borrow their toothbrush. I know this is a whole video of like, do not do this. Like, mama bears, but this We're trying is for your help. health. These are your eyes. And I don't think you want to go blind at the age of what, like, 18, 25, whatever age you are. I don't know who's watching this video. Probably no one. But <laughs> I can't. Okay. I have nails and it sucks. 
please don't go inside my eye. Please, please. That's one of my biggest fears is it's going to, like, roll in the back of my eye. Which well, if I did that, you happen. really wouldn't be able to see because you'd be blocking the light to the head. <laughs> Sorry. I'm an anatomy nerd. I'm scared. Okay, now maybe I can cry it out. Ah, no, it's not working. Okay, shit, now my eyes are watering. Oh yes, um, most contacts will tell you not to wear them in water, so do not wear them if you're going swimming. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, color contacts definitely do not. Um, I mean, if you're gonna just wade in water, even then is very iffy. Um, I don't even wear my prescription contacts when I'm in water, because, like, just a little bit. Sometimes them, it, it will can... stick to your eyeball. How about that? <laughs> like, I've had it in, even in the shower, I've worn my contacts, and sometimes water gets on your eye. It just sticks to your eyeball really bad, and it hurts taking them out. Whew, okay, there's that one. Now, my other contacts I got are prescription, so I should be able to see a little better out of them. And when you put them in, don't worry, you'll see kind of a ring around your vision mm -hmm. a little bit. Actually, you might have to get some like that for chaos for no reason. Because I'm demon right here, I just realized. I try to close my eye kind of slowly too, because if I close it quickly, a lot of times it just hurts more. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. They look interesting. I was trying to make it like more subtle for my costume. I don't want it just straight out yellow, which I was probably going to get one of those in the first place, but they were out of stock. And yeah, that wasn't a problem. My red ones were the only ones that were in, and then I had to fight with them to get like a different pair of green Ooh. ones, which I'm actually really happy with. I love my green ones. It's the red ones I actually don't like now. I can see. Yay! Ooh, wow. It's just a little bit scratchy right now, because probably because I was wearing the other it's like tilting on my finger so a lot of um they usually show you diagrams of what exactly how to put them in and everything um i do it slightly different i just like push up on my eyelashes because i like the way that feels better some people just pull up on their eyelids themselves but i have makeup right now i can't really do that um, it's just however you think it will stay because it's hard when your finger slips off of your eyelid or your eyelashes and then your contact like explodes out of your eyeball Probably not that, but I'm very exaggerating today, and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. I had some Swedish fish. I had nothing today, because <gasps> you guys took forever. I'm like, sorry. I could have went and cleaned my room. <laughs> that what we were saying. It's like, well, we've been taking a while. She probably could have cleaned your room by now. <laughs> yeah, my room's a mess from the last con we came from. I haven't had time to clean it, and today I was supposed to work on a commission that I have, but that didn't happen. Whoops. I was actually watching a really bad oh, this one hurts. horror movie on sci-fi, and it was awful. You can kind of see it hurts a little bit right now, but it's just taking it. Oh, there we go. It's better. Okay, I feel better. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but they're kind of yellow with some pretty, like, flowery patterns on them. Um, these ones were, like, kimchi something. I don't remember exactly. It sounds weird. My eyes look really cool. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, mine are freaking Christmas colors because I've got one of each mile in. Oh, you are! You can be a Christmas tree for Christmas! And make sure you replace the bottom part of the case where they sit, like, every, was it six months? Yeah, the, like, the whole case, even, because I'm, I'm sure it all gets dirty, the top mm -hmm. and the bottom. But I'm not really sure what time it depends on maybe how much you use them. If they sit for a while, it's not as bad. Um, but they, you want to watch them. Like, I don't use my color contacts very often, so, like, every couple months, sometimes I look inside and either... The solution is evaporated a little, like there's grime inside of it. So you definitely want to check it out every once in a while, even if you don't use them a lot. Mm -hmm. If you do, clean in like every time you use them. <laughs> like pour out the solution, put in some new one, uh, clean off the contact a little bit, drip it and kind of dip it in the hand yeah, solution. A lot of it's just making sure you take good care of them. Hygiene is important because you really don't want to get like anything on them and even like pink eye if you think you're getting some don't wear them because it'll just spread worse that way yeah if you get pink eye like okay you were in your contacts and you got pink eye like the next day throw away your contacts i don't care if you just bought them throw them away um any makeup it's you use throw them it. away because you'll get it again and, and you'll your spread it faces. um don't touch your eyes instructional video on pink eye <laughs> well see the thing is i didn't actually have pink eye i thought i did but it actually just turned out to be it's just like a weird a stress infection or whatever oh it's like that plus my allergies like turned it into mm. something really really weird and i get it every year the same time of year i don't know why it's weird so this one's kind of scratchy right now if it's scratchy like 
for the whole time you're using them, just take them out because it's not worth it. Because I had some from a cheaper site. Like, not, okay, the contacts weren't cheaper. It was poor quality. You want to make sure that it's not a poor quality site, like a generic contact site. Like I said, I get mine from Pinky Paradise usually. This is from Lens Village, which I think has basically the same, like, contacts with distributors because I had some of the same types. Um, these ones are very good. They range between, like, 20 and 30 bucks usually depending on the contacts. They're... They last about a year. They come with a free lens case. I mean, stuff like that. It's very helpful. And you don't pay extra for prescription. I don't know how well you can see it from there. You can see the green one. This is a green werewolf. And then this one is Voldemort. Um, <laughs> they're actually supposed to be the same size. But um, the green ones, you don't notice my natural, my natural eye color is bad. Because my eyes are blue. The red ones, you can see the ring around the inside. You can see if I shift, you can see a ring of really blue with my eyes. But they're actually really comfortable. The red ones I'm kind of disappointed with just because I was expecting the color to be a little bit brighter. Ooh. Freaky? Yeah. I, I, like really love, weird. I, I love these red ones, so I'm really glad I got these ones. It also, it will show you this full description of contacts on the website. Like, it also has the diameter of them. And um, I don't remember exactly. It just shows, like, like size and everything of contacts. So it's important to look at that. Especially if you have small eyes. Um... The bigger diameters, you're not going to be nearly as comfortable in. Or if you have um, astigmatism like I do, sometimes it won't fit as well. I've been lucky and they've been fairly comfortable, but sometimes it will not fit as well and be a little more scratchy. Like, I've had issues with that. So, definitely want to watch out for that. I mean, if you want, you can always talk to your eye doctor. They might not be too keen on colored contacts because they're somewhat iffy. Because they, a lot of eye doctors now sell the actual legitimate um, prescription, whatever, color contacts but if you're ever in doubt and want to discuss it with your eye doctor feel free to because he can always help with figuring out the best um, types for your eyes I mean because these are they, these can be very slightly damaging especially if you wear them for a long time and do not wear them like follow the directions or directions <laughs> yeah. when you get them that say how long to wear them like these ones when you like the first couple days only for two hours then you gradually start increasing